This is it. Opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the New Orleans Hornets going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. The day has finally arrived for basketball fans. It's opening day of a brand new NBA regular season. Nothing quite like the excitement of beginning the regular season, Kevin. It's one of my favorite days of the year, and this matchup here tonight should be a fun one. Nice distributing from Davis there. Excellent job reading the defense and finding the open teammate. Here's Strickland. Connects from three-point range. Here are the Hornets with the ball. Davis, the pass to Mashburn. And that one falls coming off of Davis's speed. And you have to be cognizant of Mashburn's long-range shooting ability. This guy is really accurate from out there. Pass to Trent. Here's Peeler. Shoots over Wesley. Shots good by Peeler. We're about one minute into the first. Davis drives in, and it's Davis finishing it off. That is Baron Davis at his best, taking it right to the rack and going at defenders. Here's Strickland. He's guarded by Davis. Trent outside. Minnesota shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. And you know, a lot of times, guys, in some of their performances last year, their free throw numbers helped them win games. The first one falls. So he picks up just one from the line that time. For New Orleans, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Here's Mashburn. Just four to shoot. There's the drive. Bucket is good. Mashburn's got five now. And this is how special Mashburn is on the drive, using that athleticism to just explode towards the rim. Strickland passes to Serviak. Trent with it. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Here's Peeler. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Peeler's got his second basket of the game. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The pass to McClure. Here's Mashburn, guarded by Serbiak with the drive. Mashburn with a determined rim attack, throwing it down. Minnesota's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Strickland passes to Peeler, and here's Trent. Releases. That's good on the jump shot. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Now here is Davis. D right on him. Got a hand on it. Pass to Zerbian. There's the feed to Garnett. And it's slammed in by Garnett. The defense playing Garnett nice and close inside, but he flexes some muscle and gets through to his finish anyway. 
And it's Davis with the ball for New Orleans. Trailing by two. This is the first they're seeing of the Timberwolves here. First game of the NBA's regular season for them. First team foul. Yeah, and a bit of a revenge game for them as they were swept in the two-game season series from last year. And, you know, they might not be in the same conference, but as with any top team, they want to show they can compete Super with the best two. teams out of conference, too. And he knocks down the first one. Certainly not his strength, but McGlure, to his credit, doing the best he can from the line. And so he hits both. For Minnesota, they've gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. Pass to Garnett. And it's Trent in the corner. Offline with his three. Davis against Garnett. Davis looking for an opening. Passes to Meshburn. Six to shoot. Back to Brown. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Peeler passes to Strickland. That one drops for him. Strickland's got five. That pass into the paint. That is a work of art there. Dead on target. Shoots from 14. And that one's good by Davis. I like to see Davis shoot it from there. Very effective in the mid-range. For Minnesota, they've gotten six or seven shots to fall in the first quarter. They're off and running. Strickland passes to Garnett. Let's the three fly. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Outside, Davis. Garnett with the block. An infinite reach, it seems. The wingspan of Garnett is just amazing. And the pass to Mashburn. Shot clock at six. Here's McGlure. He kicks it to Brown. Here's Mashburn. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Nine points in the game so far. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Here's Serbiak. No scoring in this one. Here's Mashburn. A miss that time. Would have put him up. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Garnett. Now, here's Trent. He's tightly guarded. Here's Peeler. And another three for Minnesota. You know, Garnett is a willing passer, especially when one of his guys has a clean look. The Hornets trail by four. Pass to Brown, to the inside, Wesley, and it's denied. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hornets will retain possession. you got to love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. <laughs> Inside. New Orleans moving it around. Here's Alexander. Trills the three-pointer. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. For Minnesota, they've gone 8 of 10 shooting, coming out very strong. And in the pass to Smith. Shoots a three. And another three for Minnesota. Boy, I love how Brandon sets the table for his guys. Really the quintessential point guard. Gets the ball to his open teammate. Here's Alexander. Campbell is screen on Gill. Here's Alexander, and it's New Orleans scoring again. Well, I love watching him carve his way inside and capitalize. 
Here's Brandon. Serbiak passes to Gill. Stolen away. And a fast break now for the Hornets. And it's all evened up. It almost feels like two buckets coming off the steal like it did. 110 left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Smith. To the middle. It's picked off. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And the Hornets lead by two. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for New Orleans. And just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand. Nightmares clamps thus far. You know, points off turnovers is something else they've excelled in. I expect the opponent at least to try to squeeze that orange a little better. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Passes it to Gill. Beyond the arc. And another three for Minnesota. Three. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Here's Wes from deep. And another three for New Orleans. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Jackson misses. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Now the pass to West. Puts up a deep three. And the quarter ends with some stifling defense right there. And that concludes a back-and-forth high-scoring first quarter of play. Hornets lead by two. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. What stands out to you guys from the Hornets in this one? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. KG taking no prisoners and dropping the hammer down. Well, what a nice throw now by Kevin Garnett. New Orleans gone three or four from long range in the game. Drew passes to Mashburn. To the left wing. Here's Alexander. He's covered by Gill. Boy, Campbell rises up off the floor and throws it down with force, making it look easy. Pass to Jackson. Rakocevic. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. We're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Drew passes to Mashburn. To the left side wing. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Here's Gill. Rakocevic off on the lane. Well, the Hornets shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Here's Gill. Here's Jackson. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Jackson's gone. One of three shooting so far. Here's Drew. Nothing on the board over Jackson. Kim and the rejection by Smith. And that one's good. Mashburn. And the Hornets lead by two. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboard. Garnett, right side. Over Mashburn. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. And this season, the Charlotte Hornets relocating to New Orleans. 
Well, they're going to go from one small market to another. And you know what I like about that, Kevin, is the city of Charlotte was promised an expansion franchise. So hoops in the Big Easy before long will be hoops in the Queen City. I think everybody wins in that scenario. Here's Gil Garnett and Garnett with the slam. When Kevin Garnett gets that ball anywhere close to the rack, he's going to throw it down. Pass to Mashburn from the arc. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. A while back in fourth start, that's for sure. This is it to Jackson. Jackson is doubled. Here's Gill trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. Misses the baby hook. New Orleans has gone a very strong four for five from three-point land in the ball game. Alexander, no luck. Timberwolves trail. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. You know, KG's an insanely long player, and that length allows him to bait defenders into contact and to finish through it. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. You have to give them credit for their defense here in the early stages. I mean, they've shown tremendous anticipation on the same page as a unit defensively, especially on those block shots. And they've also been pressuring the ball tonight. You, you don't get this many steals without making an effort there. A vocal forward who plays with an edge, that may be an understatement when you're talking about Garnett. He seems to thrive on trash talk and trying to get into the head of his opponents. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Here's Davis. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And you can see the respect that the defense has for Davis's jumper. They just got a little too aggressive on that contest. New Orleans shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Shoot two. And that one falls for Davis. Yeah, and Davis, all energy, big physical point guard with that shoot first mentality. And both free throws good for Davis. Here's Strickland, eight points for him. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Trent outside. There's the pass to Garnett. Over McGlure. And Garnett, that's good. Garnett's got 13 points. And when Garnett has it going, he's unguardable. I love how confident and versatile he is on offense. Here's Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Here's Trent. The Hornets making the shot. Offensive rebound. Here's Serbiak. Hands it from downtown. Zerbiak just got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. The Hornets trail by three. Outside, Davis into the lane. And it's slammed in by Davis. Yeah, it always helps when your point guard can throw it down. Davis, with that impressive vertical, likes powering it home inside. Here's Strickland. 
That one good for two. Ten points for him. All right, he's got to quit while he's ahead. He, he got away with it there, but the crossover usually gets him into a bit of trouble. Here's Davis. Strickland grabs the ball. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Here's Garnett. Pass to Trent. Back to Garnett. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And the Hornets making a change here. Alexander's checked in. And so Brown will bring it up for the Hornets. It's a three-point game. Now Wesley. He has seven. It's good. Wesley's got nine. Oh, clean release on Wesley's jumper, showing confidence shooting from mid-range. Pass to Trent. Here's Serbiak, covered by Wesley. Here's Strickland. And another three for Minnesota. The Hornets have gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Here's Wesson. He's got nine. Davis gets a wide open look. Trains the three pointer. Davis has got nine points now in the quarter. Davis is a fantastic deep ball shooter, torching defenses with his perimeter game. Passes it to Peeler. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Here's Wesley, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Second team The Hornets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. That free throw, no good. Yeah, and Wesley does whatever is asked of him, a, a dependable scorer and an effective defender. Good on the second free throw. 135 left to play here in the second quarter. And there's the pass to Peeler. Takes the three. And again, Minnesota with the triple. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. Here's Wesley. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got three assists now in this one. David Wesley has a nice looking release on that three point shot, so you got to respect him from there. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Checked in for Minnesota. Coming in with the floor for the Timberwolves, number 32, Joe Smith. Minnesota's gone three of four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. Pass to Peeler. Now, here's Trent. He's guarded close. Can't hit from in close. Ogman passes to Brown. Outside, Davis. Brown sets a screen for Davis. 
And there's Brown. That's good on the assist by Davis. And the Hornets lead by two. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Foul. Jamal McGuire. First personal foul. Second team foul. On defense, New Orleans buries it from three-point range. Serbiak's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Timberwolves. Now here's Davis, guarded closely. 26 seconds left now here in the second. Here he goes. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. And he's a shoot-first kind of player. And when Davis is on, well, he keeps after it on offense. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. Now here's Davis. 15 points in the game. Pass to Wesson. Shoots the three. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Wesley's got 16 points. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. When it's on top, they lead by two. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Minnesota with the ball, trailing by two. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Strickland passes to Trent. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Garnett can't get it to go. New Orleans gotten all but one of the three-pointers to go down in this game. They've gone seven of eight so far. Here's Davis, and Davis throws it down. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. You can almost feel the mindset he has. I mean, when the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. Hornets leading by four. Outside, Davis. Passes to Mashburn. Now Brown. And Brown throws it down. You take a look at the assist numbers for Mashburn, and this is a guy who excels at passing the ball, especially from the forward position. The pass to Serbiak. And he slams it one-handed. Got to have some guts and guile to take it to the bucket strong, despite the big fella standing in the way. Davis with it. He's got 17. Driving in, makes it off the glass. Davis has got 19 points. Physical at the one. Davis enjoys being down low. Much more comfortable there than jacking up threes. Here's Serbiak in a big time jam right there. Oh, come on, fella. And power it down. That dunk was ridiculous. There was absolutely nobody that was going to get in the way of that finish. Not when he's bringing that kind of force. And that one's good, Mashburn. Jamal Mashburn can certainly take over a game and doing just that here in this one. Strickland passes to Zerbiak. To the wing right side. Here's Peeler. And the Timberwolves jack on two more. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Now here is Davis. He's got 19. Round kicks to West. Outside, Davis. 
Just five on the clock. Puts up a deep three. It's hauled in by Trent. Timberwolves trail by five. Garnett left side. And it's slammed in by Garnett. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. And the Hornets with possession here. After the basket by Minnesota. Down low, here's McGraw, and they immediately answer back with a dunk at the other end. Jamal McGlure, don't do him like that, showing off all that power. Here's Strickland, 13 points in the game. Three-pointer, good on that shot, and with that, the Hornet lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Serbiak. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. And they double up Davis. Here's Mashburn, defended by Garnett. Round the pass to Mashburn. A three from Davis. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is nine for 13 so far. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. That's to Serbian. And again, Minnesota with the triple. He's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arm. Count that one for Mashburn. Well, Davis has a real skill for getting guys set up and sees openings others might miss. Here's Strickland, who's guarded by Davis. Here's Peeler, and there's another one for the Timberwolves. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. Perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speeches at halftime got both of these teams fired up. Drops in the tray. Davis has got 10 points here in the second half. You know, he's going to continue to bury those if that's how they're going to DM up. Minnesota calls timeout. Lynch is checked in for the Hornets. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Hill's checked in. Timberwolves trail by six. Pass to Garnett. To the paint. Trent kicks to Garnett. And it's in off the backboard. Garnett's got four points in the quarter. There's that silky smooth jumper of Garnett's. Nice elevation. And the height of the release point makes that a reliable mid-range look. Yep, that one goes in there. And the Hornets lead by six. And that's really using the double team against the defense there and creating that pinpoint passing to attack. Garnett high post. And you know, the length KG has creates problems for defenders, which is why they often foul him inside. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for New Orleans? Well, throughout this game, they've been lighting it up from mid-range. I love seeing that. They've made that the focus of their offense, Take and break. it's really paid Take off. Break. And also, they took advantage of their quickness, got inside and blew through the open lanes. Great job of attacking the paint. They throw good, Garnett. He's off on the second. Hornets leading by five. Mashburn the pass to Davis. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Here's Garnett. And it's Garnett finishing it off. Garnett capping off the break nicely. They're always in the right place. 
New Orleans has gotten 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter, going four of five shooting. McGlure, the pass to Mashburn. They set the pick. It's blocked. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. And the Hornets making a change here. Here's Wesley, and he makes good on the way. Wesley's got 18 points in the game. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Here's Strickland. He's got 13. He tries for three, and another three for Minnesota. Three. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. High post, Davis. He's got 25. Second personal foul. First team foul. Minnesota foul call. Kevin Garnett. The Hornets have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. At the line for your Hornets, Baron Davis. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Davis. There's a minute 40 left to play here in the third. Here's Strickland. He's guarded by Davis. Strickland passes to Gill. Here's Strickland over Davis. Here's Gill. And another three for Minnesota. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. Davis, the pass to Lynch, to the inside. Floats one up. Garnett with the block. Pass to Gill. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. 59 seconds left here in the third quarter. High post, Davis. He's got 27. Gill against Wesley. And I like how Wesley challenges the defense and how he initiates the contact on his shot. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And from the line a season ago, off on the first. And the second free throw, good. Look, you'd like to take the lead on that possession, but he, at least he was able to tie the game up. There's 38 seconds left in the third quarter. Serbiak passes to Gill. Timberwolves passing it around. Serbiak, no luck. Very dangerous to lead a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. The pass to Alexander. Campbell is screen on Smith. Alexander gets the bucket. The entire defense was frozen foot. Nobody picked up the shooter. 
Gill against Wesley. Shot from 12. And again, it's Minnesota. He does not lack for confidence, and he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. With one on the clock. Whoa! He got it in! <laughs> to finish up the quarter. That's an impossible shot, man, even when you don't have the clock to worry about. Hmm. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting neck-and-neck -neck game. Hornets lead by three. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. the fourth quarter and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. New Orleans leading by three. Pass to Ogman. Here is Lynch. Here's Alexander. Lopez with the block. And now Minnesota on the fast break. Oh! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! My goodness! And he takes that one up and powers it through. Cutting into that deficit now. Well within striking distance. Boy, time to tighten it up on defense. A stop here would be huge. And that one's good. Meshburn. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Lopez outside. Eldon Campbell with the rebound. Campbell's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And he jams it with authority. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a team like this? Let's go. I like offense. A pretty free look from three-point range. The D forgot about him on that possession. Yeah, I think that might have been intentional. Perhaps was not an accident because he's typically not the guy that's taking that shot at this stage of the game. Here's Alexander following the three by Minnesota. And Campbell throws it down. Boy, clean the glass nicely. And Campbell put it right back up and down. Timberwolves trail by five. Pass to Gill. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. And he makes the first. Yeah, Kendall Gill's athleticism and versatility, uh, really solid. A guy who can play a lot of positions, and I think he's an outstanding scorer. Davis has checked in for New Orleans. So after making the first, he goes one for two. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. Tries it from 19. A rebound by the Timberwolves. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Garnett can't get it to go and not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Here's Alexander. Kim off with the layup. And here's Smith. Here's Slater. Alexander grabs the board. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Full 24-second shot clock. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. And the shot goes in. Garnett's got nine points here in the second half. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. 
Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to it? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. And the Timberwolves call time. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to listen in on the Timberwolves head coach talking to his team. Coach is not happy with that three-point battle. He told his team, we're down because they're making more threes than us. We have to defend the line if we're not making them at the other end. Guys? Thank you, David. Timberwolves trail by five. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Here's the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. Now here's Davis. Defense right on him. Got a piece of it. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Clearly it's a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. the line for the Timberwolves. Reggie Slater taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Makes it and the next one could tie it up. Second free throw, no good. For New Orleans, they've gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Slater. Over to the left wing. It's good, and the New Orleans lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Gill. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Mashburn. Back to Davis. Fires the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Davis has got 15 points here in the second half. On the other side of a crisp pass this time. Barron nailing the jump shot. Gill the pass to Garnett. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Campbell's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Mashburn. Garnett grabs the board. Garnett's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Gill. Knocks down the three ball. Oh, he had him spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. The Timberwolves making a change here. Substitution on the court. And it's Davis with the ball for the Hornets. They lead by one. The pass to Mashburn. Driving inside. Lays it up off the glass. Mashburn's got 10 points now just in this quarter. These are the shots you want Mashburn taking because he's that good on offense. Pass to Garnett. To the paint. Here's Serbiak. It's stolen by Davis. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Here's Wesson. Outside for Davis. 
and it's the Hornets another three. Oh, nice feed by Wesley. Always looking to get others involved. Here's Strickland. He's guarded by Davis. Trent, right side. To the wing on the left. It's up a three. Shots good by Peeler. Peeler's got 20 points. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. You bet he has. I mean, working overtime. The triple's been his bread and butter in this ball game. Nothing but butter. Sweet butter. And that's a huge shot from Astro. No stranger to having to bury those. Here's Strickland. He's guarded by Davis. Trent passes to Garnett. And here is Serbia. Good, it's Garnett with the assist that time. Garnett's got four assists now tonight. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Davis. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Kevin Garnett. Certainly a spot on the floor that Davis would like to improve. a four-point ball game. This is what makes him special, his ability to come through in these spots. Inside, Trent. That shot, no good. Some sour defense from Brown. New Orleans has gotten in the groove from three-point range there. Four for four since the third quarter ended. And the basket is good. Exactly what they want right there. Continue to get good looks. Timberwolves trail by six. And 31 left in the game. Shots good by Peeler. Wow, look at the damage this young man is doing from deep. And there's another one. And it's a big one. What a performance from long range. Remarkable. Here's Serbiak. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Now just a one-point Hornets lead. The Hornet shooting has been just uncontainable. 72%. Here's Mashburn. Connects again from distance. He's got this defense scrambling. And even when they've got two guys on him, he just finds a way to create space. And he's making some team history. He just tied the franchise record for three-pointers in a single game. Here's Garnett. It falls. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch. And, and he's got it going right now. That's who they want taking the big shot. McGlore, it counts. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Strickland passes to Peel. Shoots over Wesley. Garnett kicks to Trent. Good! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. Yeah, I love Start. the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. And the Hornets call time here. with possession here. Davis finds Brown. Outside, Davis. Pass to Mashburn. Over Serbia. 
It's good. A big time bucket there. They've got to play for a stop here with the two point lead. Most important thing no open threes. And the Timberwolves call time here. They trail by two. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. A critical possession, no doubt. We'll see what they draw up. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Strickland. He's guarded by Davis. To take the lead. Bullseye! Time call here. The Hornets decide to talk it over. They're trailing by one. Eight seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And we call those ATOs or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in the game. Eight seconds left here in the fourth quarter. There's the pick. Pass to Mashburn. And time expires. Fantastic defensive play to seal the win. And so it's the Timberwolves who come out on top here. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for them. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. So long, everyone.